much. I think senioritis is a real thing, but it doesn't just affect seniors, it affects a lot of students. I personally do believe it's a real thing. I think it's a real thing that a lot of seniors experience. So what I think about senioritis is um, it's a very common thing that a lot of seniors go through. I think that senioritis is a real thing um, because like it's our last year of high school so as we get closer to like we're really close to the end of high school so you kind of just want to slack off. I think senioritis is real because for me, I already know colleges have accepted me, and I feel less of a motivation to keep my A's at A's. Um, I don't like it. It's scary. Um, actually, yeah. Yes, because of the stress of all the homework and activities that are going on. I am currently experiencing it in one of my classes, so... I am hoping to be like more motivated the last semester. Yeah, I feel like I really am. I've been wanting to miss for some days. I would say yeah, I think I've been slacking off. My grades probably don't show it, but I've definitely slacked off on a bunch of classes. I currently am experiencing senioritis because, uh, you know, I'm going to graduate eventually as long as I don't fail any classes. I think I'm experiencing senioritis, again, because I will already have been accepted to colleges by the time my second semester transcript comes out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always. Are you saying like clinically? Is it something that's literally diagnosed? No. I don't think it's professionally diagnosed, but it is a term that is commonly used in the spring semester. Yes, usually it starts in March senior year, but some students that I know have had senioritis since they were freshmen. No, not yet. I have had one student tell me he has it, but I haven't seen it. Not yet. It's usually more towards April or May. Um, I kind of have to because seniors in their second semester, I want them all to graduate because the consequences of not passing a class get much more severe. Mm -hmm. um, so I just try to keep constant updates, constant reminders, to try to keep Q as updated as possible. Yeah, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink, so. <laughs>